morning we are in Port Alban. It's the third leg of the hike, which is called the hike in the Free Lakes region, Lake of Neuchâtel, Lake yeah. of uh, Bienne, Lake of Morton. As I said, this is the third and final leg. We actually uh, took a break, huh? so we did uh, leg one and leg two yeah. uh, uh, consecutive in two days and then if you watched uh, before you know that i had two terrible blisters and i decided to take a break in between we have done something else uh, but now we really before our vacation ends we really wanted to finish uh, this uh, hike it's hike uh, number 71 and uh, it'll be a long one alex it's, yeah, uh, well it's um... 26k they say 26k. Um, it will not be difficult, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. Just it's long. Just long. But we are in good spirits. And, uh, Weather is fantastic. Yeah, um, it's end of uh, September. It's, it's, it's a little a, bit colder. Huh? It's a little bit colder than when we were here last. Uh, but uh, yeah. Five weeks ago. Five weeks ago, yes, roughly. Five? Four, four, four yeah, weeks ago. We were here yes. uh, early, early September. Now it's end of the month. Uh, but no cheating in the sense that we really start, restart where we last uh, took, uh, took the bus <laughs> and uh, exactly. now we do this uh, final stage and we're looking forward to it. We have now almost one hour since we departed from Port Alban and the day is simple fantastic. It was, it was bloody cold in the, in the first 40 minutes when we've been behind the forest uh, and in the shadow and it was probably no high than eight or nine degrees but a little bit windy and now we are just like reptiles taking the sun and hitting ourselves in a very comfortable road at the moment the perfect descent yes i will i will i will make a front uh, view and you you will you will have a look well, the weather is 100% confirmed and we will not have rain and um, the temperature will go up, up to 18 degrees maximum and we will have some sort of cold uh, wind coming from the north. This is called Bise, but uh, it's perfectly uh, comfortable for a hiking day. Or 16 years ago Alex and I did the Trans-Swiss. Here you can see trail number two. Uh, so that means that we've already been standing here uh, quite some while back. So it's nice to see that uh, the hike of the Free Lake region, the 71, which is the one that we're currently doing, is actually joining the Trans-Swiss trail, which uh, goes over 500 kilometers if I'm not mistaken from uh, Boron Trui uh, to, I think back then it was Chiasso, it might be now differently. Uh, I can't exactly remember how the route goes uh, nowadays. For us, it was something that, it's sort of a sidekick. Uh, this, these were the years where we did the Camino and since uh, we couldn't always uh, travel to Spain uh, to do uh, stages in Spain, so on our weekends and when we had, let's say, maybe a Monday or a Friday off, we would do a few days on the Trans-Swiss and we have completed it. It's, as I said, over 500 kilometers. It was quite challenging because we had to cross uh, Jura and then we had to cross uh, the Alps uh, over uh, St. Gotthard Pass. And then uh, also the Italian part of Switzerland was quite uh, mountainous, the Alta Strada and everything. But it was a wonderful trail. And I think it allowed, especially for Alex, but also for me, to really get to know Switzerland, to go to places that uh, usually, frankly speaking, uh, would I ever go to Gudrafin? Probably not. But here I am for the second time because of hiking. Well, we are in parallel to the lake. And in my right side, in front is Mont Bui, what is the the mountain we need to cross um, to the top 
but uh, I think Sonda Helen has another idea because we already did this one um, when we did the Trans Swiss from Porrentuna Chiasso to Chiasso we already uh, crossed this part I think so it's um, just 11.30 in the morning the temperature is raising up in a very comfortable way probably it's now around 15 degrees not bad when you are in the shadow it's a little bit cool but as soon as you are exposed to the sunlight, you get warm enough. I'm still with my small jacket here, but I feel really, really comfortable. We have some traffic with a small, not a highway, but we call a cantonal street. Um, we mainly farmers move there and also people from one town to the other. We expect to arrive to the corner of Monwi in around two hours because we need to do a detour following the lake and and Helen will propose to do a, a detour later. Oh, this went fast, Alex. We've already reached the Canal de la Broie. Yeah. Uh, which uh, links uh, the lake of Murten with, I guess, the lake of uh, Le Chatel or maybe even the lake of Biel. I actually don't know. I have to look at the map. Uh, but as you can see here, also ships are circulating on, uh, on, uh, on this canal. There's actually, I think, like a free lake boat tour that one can take with, but which lasts quite a bit, I think, the entire day. For me, a surprise that we reached the channel so quickly so we must have had a good uh, good speed it was yeah, a yeah, because we have a good speed we will stop here okay Justo un barco there's a ship coming Alex A little bit like a boat that we used on the canals in France, very similar. Huh? Very similar. Very yes, yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Okay, is it uh, break time? Oh, look, it's another one. Time. Wow. It's break time. We we make short breaks. Uh, yeah. Look, one another hour. one. We start at eleven. And um, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. It's going very well. Let me explain the detour. Uh, Alex and I, as I said before, have done the Trans Swiss roughly 15 years ago and we have been on Mont Vuy. Uh, so this would actually be some sort of repetition for us, although of course it's always nice to visit. It's a wonderful uh, area and uh, by the way also produces very good uh, wine, uh, which Alex enjoys. Uh, but No, since I don't drink alcohol. Uh, but then I looked at the map and something we have not done actually is hiked along this canal. So uh, uh, this will lead us uh, more directly to Zugier. Well, actually not more directly because it's quite a, a huge uh, turn, but we don't have to go up uh, the mountain. So two reasons why we've decided that we will do this uh, alternative. First of all, it's something new we've not done. The other thing we have done. And secondly, Alex has some knee issues and he's currently following a treatment and it would be better if we just remain flat and he doesn't have to do the... I feel very good. But yeah, I, but I the, downhill the downhill in the forest, for the uh, so maybe better. Although it's not massive, but uh, just better to be on the safe side. I will since speak about my knee problems in another video. Yeah, you can do a special on that. But uh, no, be just better to be prudent since you just started your treatment. So. Uh, best not to overdo it well just to to search for searching the perfect shoes Ellen now 
swap the speed got four from Hoka mm -hmm. to the lovely Ultra. Ultra Lone 5. She loved these shoes. Um, she's still under test. And uh, well, she say the the well you you can explain means what well, what I just what? find it ultra ultra comfortable when I switch now from the Hoka. The Hoka is nice. It's uh, soft, uh, soft, no? and it uh, I think it really it, no. I'm, I'm I mean I love that shoe as well. But when I go into this, I feel like holiday. But well, ask me again in when we arrive. Uh, at uh, at Morges, uh, we still have 10 k's or so to do. So uh, ask me again. Yeah, you I can see the be... difference between the. Yeah. But what I like is just ah, uh, it's so much space for my feet. Yeah, yeah. I like that. It has know. much more room. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Okay. Well, let's I go. Switched. It's anyway. You gave me a nice little uh, rub, uh, foot massage, which is always amazing. And uh, let's now go to Sujier. Uh, I'm hoping for a late lunch. There's a lovely place there. Hopefully it's open. Well, I will prefer to have dinner in Murten and something. I prefer to do both. Have a little oh. light lunch. And well, then have a nice dinner in Murten once once we have done the 20 whatever. It's supposed that uh, that route uh, runs over the reach of that uh, small hill. It's quite it's not so small because it's very steep, but um, it's one hour more in the distance. And we are just flat here. I prefer to avoid the downhill and see how my knees are performing. Let's go and see. We are going now to... Sujier for a stop. And then I guess we will do in one go Sujier Morsch, which is... Or Murten in German. So yeah. then Morsch. Okay. we'll be done. We'll be back. Uh, still right on the channel. Wonderful path. Really soft, really good uh, for the feet. And really lovely scenery, very calm. Very nice, beautiful weather. We are arriving to Sujet. You can see the winery in the front, and now we will stop in these nine restaurants. There, to eat something. It will be a nice, a nice stop to continue another six kilometers later. We will see. Okay, let's go enjoy it. We just finished our break in Sujier uh, at the lovely. Hotel restaurant uh, Ours, which means bear. It's French and it means bear. We couldn't have something proper to eat because the kitchen was already closed. This is Switzerland. You get used to it. There's plenty pass. When you live here. <laughs> anyway, but they were kind enough to offer us uh, dessert, which was delicious. Alex had a cheese platter and I went for something sweet. Uh, some sort of mousse, uh, quite interesting, with interesting flavors. And so, and of course, we shared a little bit with, with each other. So this was actually quite, quite a perfect uh, break. Now we're still, we just crossed the channel, uh, Le Canal de la Bois, because we need to be on the other side of the lake once we hit Lake Morton. We will uh, turn around at, uh, on, on that side of the Lake Murten and then to arrive to our final destination, which is uh, Murten or uh, Mora. Among Switzerland is normally frequent to find this kind of concrete constructions 
they are just uh, anti-tanks defenses from the first and the second world war uh, remove this stuff will cost millions and it just abandoned by the militaries uh, it's possible to find everywhere this defense probably for the aging of the concrete i suppose are from the first world war the grand great war and it was intended to protect the advance of tanks especially they are anti-tanks uh, traps very very common in, in switzerland and in france also We made it, end of uh, today, end of the three day hike called the hike of the region with the three lakes. We are working our way up to the old town of Morton, of Mora in French. It's one of the most enchanting historic medieval towns. Uh, you will see right away once we cross into the main gate. It's really absolutely lovely. And of course the location right on the lake is also really amazing and I think what gives really Morton oh you're talking at the same time well. what really gives Morton a special touch it's right on the language border in Switzerland so it has very commonly two names it's referred to Morton by the Swiss German speaking population and then Mora by the French speaking and this being right on the edge between two cultures really gives it an additional charm so it's also quite touristic we're lucky that we're going now when there is no covid uh, sorry when there is covid but uh, no travelers not so many international travelers usually it's packed and so quite lucky uh, to be here when it's a bit more quiet Questo si vede bien un bistrottino. Okay. We're looking for a place because we want to have early dinner here before we take the train and head back. But let's walk up and down and see if this also looks quite good, Alex. Yep, made it. I think we go to the Bistrolino, Alex. Yeah, let me see if there's more people here. We will sit at our table and then we're back. Let me see, there's a lot of people here. Zucker. More coffee. More like coffee, huh? Yeah, tea room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to that Pistrolino. Amazing. Always super nice after a long day of hiking to have something to eat. We are right in the old town of Murten, sitting at an Italian restaurant called Pistrotino. Uh, we already placed our order. And although it's a bit early, I think both of us are really hungry. Today is the second last day of our vacation here in Switzerland. 
On Saturday we're heading back to uh, Bangkok, Thailand, where we currently live. And in Thailand, at least for my, for my feeling, it's way too hot to hike several days in the jungle or I don't know where. So uh, this will be it. Hiking season 2021 will come to a halt. We started off in uh, April when we were here first time this year walked around Lake Zurich. Uh, that was that, uh, was, fantastic. that was a big uh, big hike. Then we when we came this time started to do this uh, route 71 did two days and then had to stop because of my blisters and then um, did four days around Lake of Thun which was also very beautiful and I must say uh, even in April uh, we had always luck with weather and then just before we now head to the plane we felt it would be good to finish this route uh, 71 so let's do the last day. For me it's also a confirmation because um, I didn't come to Switzerland feeling super super fit because I had been working so much so not much time to practice sports or anything so uh, I think when we first started we did like days like 12 kilometers 13 kilometers 18 kilometers or even eight no i'm not sure the first things here i think was like 12 or 13 and it felt a lot and for me now to end this vacation on a 26k uh, not bad. yeah not bad i mean not amazing and it was easy terrain flat and everything but still uh, it gives me the confidence that i can do it and now uh, I returned to Bangkok really motivated to hit my treadmill and uh, yeah, and start working out. Excellent. Grüezi. Grüezi. Ja. Vorbei des Jahres. Ja. Danke. Erste Filmwahl. Okay. Carpaccio Jazz and Wolf. Danke Filmwahl. Danke Filmwahl.